Three days after their school went back, authorities at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School posted this message. Three students were shot outside of the school during dismissal this afternoon. Heavy police presence between public safety, the county department. It is very, it's very devastating. It shouldn't have happened, but it did. So I'm just praying, you know, that everything works out. They find out who did it and it don't happen again. All right, we are continuing to follow the breaking news out of Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. It's a day no parent, no student and teacher ever expected on just the third day of school. Someone opened fire driving past this high school as these innocent kids were getting to their cars and school buses. If you're just joining us, we know this shooting happened at dismissal at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. Three students shot. What we're hearing from the school district now is that their injuries are not life threatening, but we still have not heard from law enforcement yet whether or not an arrest has been made. But as Andrea said, three students, third day of school, law enforcement saying this was a school shooting, but there was not an active shooter in the school. All right, parents and um, students alike have been told uh, to go to the technical center to pick up their students. Meanwhile, kids who have their own cars are getting dismissed one by one. Now, News 19 has multiple crews at the scene right now, but none knows the area more than News 19's Devin Johnson, who's a part of our street squad and is out in Orangeburg every single day. I understand you are joined by Representative Govan from Orangeburg, Devin. Yes, that is correct. I'm standing right here at OW High School with none other than Representative Jerry Govan. You know, you just heard what happened. What brought you over here? I know your leadership of Orangeburg County, so what brought you over here? Well, you know, I came over because I was very much concerned. Um, Orangeburg Wilkinson High School is not only my uh, former alma mater, uh, but also it's in the heart of the district. And as a concerned parent and also as a concerned leader in the community, of course, we want to see what was happening uh, and have a bird's eye view. Uh, this concerns us all because we all live in this community. And uh, as a parent, as grandparents, and as uh, guardians of a lot of these students, uh, we're much concerned about any time anything of this magnitude happens uh, in, to, in, 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 with, with regards to our children. Orangeburg is a tight-knit community. You know, when something goes on, everybody knows about it. So I know that parents have been coming up to you, possibly telling you or asking you what's going on. What have you heard so far? Well, what I've heard so far and, and the phone calls uh, that I got was, and, and I've been in touch with, uh, with uh, school officials in terms of the administration, uh, and we're waiting to get some updated information that apparently uh, uh, a non-student or someone from off campus uh, came on campus and, uh, and, 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 and shot into a crowd of students. Uh, there were some students that were, were injured. Uh, my understanding is nothing, no one was, it's not life-threatening. Uh, and that uh, you see all this law enforcement around. Uh, obviously, uh, they are seeking, uh, and they may have, a, I can't speak to whether they exactly do have a suspect, but I, as you can see, they're doing a very thorough job in terms of not only monitoring the crowd, getting students out to their parents, but also in terms of trying to uh, work this active crime scene. I want to ask you this, you know, parents are trying to get their kids ready for school. They've been out of school for so long because of COVID, the numbers. I talked to one parent, she said, you know, before I was trying to get my kid ready for go back to school during COVID, during the pandemic, now I got to worry about this. So as the leader, as one of the leaderships out here, what's the main message that you want to give to the community that's, you know, worried about their loved one or their students or kids or whatever? Well, you know, the message I'd give, give to them as a, as a parent as well, uh, you know, because this not only could be happening and does not only happen on high school campuses, it happens all across this country, the elementary schools and on college campuses. Is, the, is that uh, you have competent people in place to try to keep our children safe. Uh, nothing's ever 100% guaranteed, but, uh, but we see, again, I'm pleased to see that we have as much law enforcement out here. Uh, I'm quite sure the district and the school leadership, the superintendent and the board is going to look at uh, me security measures to see if they need to beef that up to make it more stringent. 
uh, and, uh, and we have to address these things. You know, we looked at the situation in terms of violence on school campuses. We did a study in the House of Representatives about seven, eight years ago, uh, which I initiated and oversaw. And again, you know, you can't always, you can't turn campuses into fortresses, but what we can do is we can each do our part. And uh, so we'll, look, we'll, we'll hold on and wait until we get all the facts. And I'm quite sure that uh, the Superintendent Foster and the rest of the board, board is going to sit down and ascertain exactly what happened with the school leadership and then just see what we can do to prevent this from happening again. I appreciate you taking some time to talk to us and kind of updating uh, us what's going on. As you can see right behind me that the scene is cleared out right now, but the district's message is do not come out here. If you have a child that goes to OW, please go to the Technology Center. That's where the buses are dropping off students. The scene is clear, but there is heavy presence out here. They've actually blocked the entrance to OW, so you cannot get over here. They will turn you around to make you go up there. Like, like I said before, we're still looking forward to what happened over here, so when we get more information, we will give it to you. Live in Orangeburg, I'm Devin Johnson, News 19, WLTX.